All right. Here for the next question, we're looking at Thomas uh, taking different modes of transportation to school. These are really common questions in terms of different options that may happen along with different probabilities and then someone choosing something. So that's what will happen here. So what we've got, young, uh, young Tomo here is going to school and he might walk, 0.5% uh, 0 0.5 probability of him walking. He may, his old man may give him a drive, um, so it's 0 0.2 chance of that happening, <clears throat> might get in his bike and ride that at 0 0.1, he might also take this thing called Uber, and it makes me feel old, this thing called Uber, I had to get Mr. Chad to explain it to me, apparently it's an app, and you can just tell them where you are, and a taxi comes and picks you up, it's pretty cool, um, anyhow, let's have a look at this, now, <clears throat> the question tells us that, the question gives us this bit of information, it doesn't tell us how much we've got for Uber, so, Uber is the leftovers, so, 5, 0.2 gives us 0 0.7, 0 0.1 gives us 0 0.8, so this has got to be 0 0.2, because all our probabilities have to add up to 1. Now, in question A, it's asking us, what is the probability that he walks four times? So that means that he is going to walk, 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 walk. So, if he's walking, <coughs> it's 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, times 0 0.5, times 0 0.5, because I said he's going to walk for four days. So he walks, and walks, and walks, and walks. We can rewrite that as 0 0.5 to the power of 4, and we end up with 0 0.0625. <coughs> now, sorry. I just realized I have to apologize if I'm going to cough. I just need to pause it. Um, anyhow, we're going to jump over to D, and then we'll come back to B. For D, it tells us um, he's 25 days. His old man's going to give him a drive, uh, going, to, going to give him a lift to school uh, for 25 days. If that's the case, if we're looking at 25 days, what is how many days will he actually, um, will he actually um, get a lift? So what we do, this becomes... The probability of him getting a lift multiplied by how many days? So that ends up being 5. So of the 25 days, he will um, get a lift for 5 of those. Okay. Now, we're looking at B. B tells us he takes a different mode of transport on each of the 4 days. So one day he walks, another day he catches, uh, another day he gets a lift, another day he rides his bike, another day he gets Uber. The next day, or that's one, one possibility, he may walk one day, catch a, 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 get a lift, Uber, and then the bus. Or the train, ride his bike, not bus. So what we're doing there, we're looking for what may happen on each, on each of the four different days. So to find that, what we've got to do, we've got to work out how many possible combinations there are of this. Now, what we can do, I've looked at this. So if he walks, I've just said, He's going to walk, and we're going to look at all the other possibilities that don't involve him walking. So he's going to walk and catch the bus, so walking and catching the bus, and based on that, he'll either, uh, sorry, walk and get a lift, he'll either um, ride his bike or use Uber. From there, if he walks and gets a lift, he may then use Uber and um, ride his bike. <coughs> And from there, these so these six are all the possible com, uh, possible outcomes if he walks first. So if he works walks first on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, these are all different options. Now, from there, we've got six different results. Now, with all of these, because they're all the same, we can work out a probability of each one of these happening. So for this to happen, it is. 0 0.5 times probability of a car, 0 0.2 times probability of his bike, 0 0.1 times the probability of Uber, 0 0.2. So this ends up being 0 0.002. Now, where this becomes interesting is that for any of these to happen, it's 0 0.02. How many ways can we have this happening in total? Well, here we've got six. Now, that happens if we've got one of our options 
one of our four options starting off when up with six. If we did the same thing, but we had him uh, getting a lift, so if we had C here first, we'd have another six possibilities. If we had B, we'd have another six, and if we had U, we'd have another six. So as a result, we end up with four, sorry, we end up with these six, six possibilities times four, because we can have four different things in front. So it ends up with 24. So therefore, the probability of different transport each day, I'm going to call it diff, is 24 times 0 0.002, and we end up with 0 0.048.